damn it, man. I heard the People's Revolutionary Army was once a thousand strong. Now, what happened? They got government jobs. Well, boys, this is apparently the creator of the Libs of TikTok account. Her first, her name is something long and foreign. I'm not even about to pretend to uh, be able to pronounce it. But yeah, this is the lady responsible for a ton of content that's been graced upon the internet. Just in a concise and very easy to find method, which is mwah, appreciated. And since her appearance on Tucker Carlson, the internet's done what the internet does and has overvalued her on the market. Because she's like, oh yeah, my DMs have been flooded since uh, her appearance here. And yeah, like I said, the internet's going to do what the internet does. Either way, it's attractive enough. Uh, very, very lovely young lady. And honestly, ma'am, thank you so much for the content. Seriously. For the misogynist that everyone believes myself to be. For the, for the misogynist I claim myself to be. You know what? Whenever, whenever anyone does good, I'm always wanting to give them a little pat on the back. Or in her uh, case, a little pat on the rump. You know, we go to baseball player this. Give a nice little pat on the rear. Hey, hey, sweetheart, get that gut. Get that rail gut, sweetheart. So anyways, uh, the reason I am front-loading this video with the uh, creator of the account that we are about to go frequent is because, well, when it comes to this instance of uh, insanity, guys, well, let's, let, I, I don't, we don't even really need to play the game now, do we? Not, not allowing a child to use. Oh, yeah. Not allowing a child to use puberty blockers is simply just transphobic. It just is what it is. So, any guesses as to why I didn't start off the first minute just ogling this individual? Hmm. Oh, man, like the, the voice, like everything, like you can kind of just tell you, we all know, we all, I'm going to say it because, you know, YouTube's YouTube, but uh, we all know. So wait, we were so caught up in that voice that came flying out of this individual that um, let's go back and hear what it is this individual had to say. Not allowing a child to use puberty blockers is simply just transphobic. It just is what it is. Yep. This person. Yeah, person's, person's good. Is saying that not causing, not allowing your child to undergo uh, damage that would be irreparable to their body you know you can't repair this shit once, once it's done it's done there's so many different um instances of people regretting their transitions and detransitioners and all this other fun stuff they're saying that it's just transphobic and you know what you know what individual you're 100 percent correct i'd be terrified of my child coming to me with this mental illness because of a because hey it would imply that as a parent i didn't do my job right but secondly it would imply that the world has been able to sink their teeth into my kid and have them believing that black is white up is down right is wrong and everything that ultimately will lead them down paths that they will eventually either grow to regret or have no true value towards the collective society in which we reside but yeah, yeah, yeah. so so you know what you're right it is transphobia continue but let's hear how let, let's hear how that's a bad thing in your words it is Not, there's no real reason not to. Puberty blockers just allows a child to kind of freeze, allows their look to freeze, to stay in place. It gives them more time, essentially, to decide whether they want to go further with any medical transition. And so, 
individual. Let's say that's 100% correct, right? And you're just freezing time. Here's the problem. You can't freeze time without damages. There's, it's nature. It's your biology. It's, it, it, it's the life cycle. You know, billions upon billions of people have entered this realm of, uh, this realm that we all share, this realm of reality that we all share. And, um, a billions more will continue to come in until the end of the universe. And in that time, patterns have evolved. And one of them, one of the main patterns that we've relied on to get from point A to point B is allowing that as far as your your body goes, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Puberty goes. Is, is allowing that to take its course. It, it has to take its course in naturally or you will cause damage that cannot be undone. Like, because guess what? Nature don't work like that. Life doesn't work like that. You can't just put things on pause. This, this, is, one of the, this is one of the bigger reasons I feel like this is so female-centric and so estrogenic, right? And in, in, in it's... Uh, in in its uh influence and in its sway is because women do this shit all the damn time oh yeah i can put this off i can put this off i mean people do generally speaking but when ladies you have far le- particularly when it comes to creating family and the biological clock and all that shit you have far less time and in many cases you guys just go and have your kids while you're like 15 14 15 and shit <laughs> but that's a conversation for a different um but that's a conversation for a different video in this video, what we're discussing is the time that it like like the, that I that female ideal that you can put it off, you can put it off, you can have it all and put it off, and eventually you just wake up one day and boom, you are past the wall, and you know things have gotten and, and, and things have gotten past you, you know, like your ability to do certain things is no longer there, and so this idea of putting off, you know, puberty really falls under that same vein. At any point while using puberty blockers and essentially just have the natural puberty that they would have, but a few years later. But a lot of people evolve differently as far as puberty. You know, it seems like some people don't hit puberty until they get in their 20s. And puberty blockers will essentially allow a gender variant child the opportunity to wait until they get older to go through a puberty. But here's the thing. Even if it doesn't seem, because what you're discussing, right? You're like, oh, well, that does, that's on the outside. The body is still working naturally on the inside. Just because it doesn't look like it's one thing doesn't mean that, oh, yeah. Like, notice how a lot of guys hit their bro- their growth spurt, right? Oh, yeah, you go away for one summer and you come back, you're six foot eight and shit. Like, <laughs> that's how, like, in many cases, particularly when it pertains to uh, puberty, it, it, like it, 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 it can be very instantaneous, instantaneous, or it can be rather gradual. So, this idea that um, you know, uh, like to, to 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 put anything in that that disrupts that flow at all, you know, even when yes, naturally, some people does take does take more time to outwardly show their development than others. That doesn't mean that sitting there and try and chemically inducing yourself towards stopping that process is going to have the exact same effect. It, it's it's impossible. Puberty. It's no big deal. Puberty blockers don't cause breast development. Puberty blockers don't affect anybody's voice. They essentially stay. <laughs> I don't think you particularly have the chops to be saying that, dear individual. In that childlike look, their own childlike look, for a little longer. Then if you don't let your child go on puberty blockers, then you'd be embarrassed. A little trans girl sounded like Caitlyn Jenner. Be scared to take the child. individual do, do, do you have I, I know you at one point were a child but have you reproduced uh, have you have you raised another another person just speaking just curious like like, uh, like I, 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 something's telling me that you your experience in these things are rather limited but and i'm i'm gonna tell you a lot of that it 
Yeah, pro- you didn't have a dad, huh? I, I, that's usually what it is. These people don't have, um, you know, that testosterone, that father figure in their life, that, 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 no. The thing that we discuss about on this channel, what the penis is supposed to do, that scent stick that we as guys have, what testosterone is supposed to be, it's testosterone. Like, you know, estrogen is the fuel. Testosterone is the braking me- mechanism, you know? <laughs> Once again... These things are supposed to work in tandem. You can't have too much overflowing in one side. And that's where we're at collectively as a society. It's just nothing but estrogenics. And you sit here saying, oh, well, you're just going to be embarrassed. Let me tell you something. Like, like they'll be fine. Like, you know what? If the, if they, if the child naturally, or the boy, if the young man grows up naturally to have a more feminine voice without the interference, you know what? That's far less embarrassing than whatever octave it is coming out of your mouth, individual. Get the child in public, want to pretend that shit's deaf. Got the little trans boy out here clocky. Don't nobody want to be clocky. Ain't nobody trying to be clocky because we got to do... The fuck is clock? You know what? These people getting their damn words. We're done. We're done. I don't want... Uh-uh. I, mean, I don't even give a shit what clocky is. What is clocky? I, I don't care what it's uh, like uh, th- that's my natural curiosity and you know what i can't help but feel like particularly when dealing with these uh alphabetical folks man the like when that, no matter what when you go looking into whatever it is that they're talking about they got going on it's all it, it, it's it's always a rabbit hole and we ain't about to do that right now boys we're all good here, okay? We're done here. Clocky, looking clocky. I, I, I like how, like, is that like a, is that chubby or is it like, like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't care either. Because once again, this it's just a rabbit hole of mental fucking illness. These people are insane, guys. I'm sorry, they're absolutely bonkers. So with that being said, we're gonna bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you like it, toss it a like. This like, go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scary. You sub if you know my fantastic voice. You wanna give videos like this every single day? Share because sharing is scaring. And YouTube and bitch you like aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons. Bang the bell for notifications. Get something from Teespring. Check me out on Odyssey as well. Links in the description. I should go in the description box and do damage and speak. Let me know. What do you guys think in the comments? Yeah, uh these people are bonkers. Okay, and no, you should not be. I, I, th- these are conversations that really shouldn't be had. And honestly, it's I I I, I, I kind of consider it low hanging fruit. But at the same time, I mean, every time it, it's it, every time you turn around, it's always a very particular pigment pushing this bullshit. And I think that's really where, like, I guess my inferior, my 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 my. my coming from in regards to this so guys let me know what you think in the comments okay and until the next one your booze mean nothing i've seen what makes you cheer every breath i take without your permission raises my self-esteem